So Joaquin Neiman is the hottest golfer on the planet right now, right? He's won three of his last four events. He shot 59 in one of them. Last week, he just came in second, missed the playoff by one. He's playing some phenomenal golf. I took a little deep dive into his golf instructor and how is it that Waco and many of the great golfers that his, his coach instructs are able to shallow the club so well and rotate so fantastically through the ball, just really gripping and using the ground. Um, what is he teaching these guys, right? And we're gonna get into that. We're gonna show you some of the drills that he does and hopefully how they can help your golf swing, right? So we can kind of hit the ball and swing a little more like some of these great Latin American golfers. So let's get into it. So Waco Neiman's the hottest golfer in the planet right now. Shot 59, won three of his last four events, came in second last week. And here's his golf coach, Eduardo Miguel, right? I was doing a deep dive into just, you know, some of the things that he teaches. He teaches some of the best Latin American golfers in the world, right? Here's him coaching um, Carlos Ortiz. He coaches Mito Pereira. He coaches Waco Neiman, of course. Mito famously, you know, uh, was leading the PJ Championship going to the last hole, you know, unfortunately lost to Justin Thomas. Watch how surprisingly similar these guys swing. They all shallow the club great. This is even one of his junior golfers. And they all rotate their body so well through the shot. This, this is Cristobal del Solar, okay? Watch how poor his golf swing was a number of years ago, how steep and over the top he was, okay? And he's a professional at this time. So after working with Eduardo and him running through just some drills of connection, some shallowing drills, this is the guy that just shot 57, the lowest ever recorded round in a PGA sanctioned event. So I really did a deep dive into just, uh, you know, because you know how much I love shallowing the golf club and how much I believe in its, its purpose and uses. So I tried to see what exactly the drills that he was doing. And this drill here that Waco's doing with the, the ball in between his legs was something that he runs all his students through. This is Mito doing it. And in order to use the ground as powerfully as possible, because we know that the main key to shallowing the golf club is being able to rotate and use the ground. Here he has even his junior golfers running through the drill and really getting that trail leg to behave correctly, right? To be able to squat, kind of like Sam Sneed, push into the ground and get your body to really have some, some better rotational torque, right? Many of the students I coach, that's not happening. So these drills can be really helpful in getting you to shallow the golf club and create a little more rotational speed. So the two most common breakdowns with the right leg, right, or the trail leg in the swing is this first golfer is going to push up off the ground. You notice how his heel comes up right there, right? The trail heel is pushing up so hard. Now watch the line above his head. It starts to raise up. Generates a lot of club head speed, so he can hit the ball very far sometimes, but this one, he just tops it right in front of himself. The next one is the right leg pushing laterally, the right knee, the right foot pushing laterally towards the target so hard that there's no rotational speed created with the body. That creates a lot of centrifugal force, adds to a lot of club head speed if we can do it. So this golfer will hit it relatively straight, but he's going to lack distance. Hey, it's your coach Zach Allen here, and when it comes to the golf swing, I've seen and tried it all. But nothing has proven as effective as the concept I'm about to share with you now. It is the single most powerful piece of golfing advice I've ever come across. In fact, I would go so far as to call it a magic move. Since I don't have the time in this short video, I've put together a three-part web class where I teach you exactly how to put it to use in your game. Nothing held back. I call it my Magic Move Training Series, and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link in the description below. You won't find these videos anywhere else, so go ahead, click the link right now, and I'll send you the first session right away. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to that lesson. Okay, so taking a look at some of those great Latin American moves and how they all just effortlessly shallow the club, right? They're able to put that center of mass behind their hand path to really come down into a great position. So all shallowing the club is, is a movement outward with the hands, 
So as the club is going back, I start to move my hand path outward and that gets the center mass to get behind us. Now what creates that outward movement is exactly that drill that he's doing there. I've got a little rubber tee on my knee here just so you can kind of visualize what's happening. When he puts the ball between the legs and you can use a soccer ball, volleyball, any ball, he's really getting his players to grip into the ground, right? This left knee makes this little, it's called a varus movement. It makes a little bit of a circle and the trail leg really corresponds by staying steady and planted, digging in rather than pushing up or driving forward, right? All the things that golfers do improperly and when they try to use the ground. So you get a ball out, put it between your legs, take it to the top, and just before your club gets to the top, start to feel that dropping sensation, feel your body really dig and rotate, and I'm telling you that club is just gonna shallow like crazy, okay? I hope that video helps you. If you want another video about shallowing the club, I've got one up here that would be great to look at. Eduardo Miguel is a great teacher. He's done a phenomenal job with these players and really kind of finding the key in the lower body to get that movement to happen consistently. Just amazing stuff. See you next time.